Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining. My name is Eric and this video is the first in a tutorial series on creating a mobile app in Godot. I couldn't be more excited to get started on these videos. I hope they help show you how simple it can be to get started in the world of app development, especially using an engine like Godot. I think you'll learn a lot along the way. What I wanted to do with this first video is just show you what the end result or the goal of this app kind of looks like. But take it with a grain of salt because we're going to be adding a lot of improvements and making some changes along the way. I think it'll create a very good foundation for you to play around with and test some things out on your own. So I'm going to hit start just to show you some of the menus. I'm kind of a sucker for single screen games or single screen apps. So I usually don't change scenes but we'll look at how to do that as well instead of just sliding things around. So I've got these three difficulties. I'm just going to click on the first one so you see kind of what the game looks like. I'm just going to let it fail. The idea behind the game is we just have these squares that fall from the top of the screen. They come down. If we want to stop the squares, we need to select the corresponding color, send our own projectile up to, I guess, collide with the, the enemy or the, the bad projectile before it hits our banner down here when they collide the score goes down so as long as we hit them our score goes up hopefully we can beat our high score of 19 I'm not actually gonna play that long so I hit try again it restarts here comes a blue and I'm gonna click blue click the triangle and it goes up that's 100 percent the depth of this game I'm gonna go back if I go up in difficulty we're just going up in the number of colors that we have to select from I'm gonna hit a couple and then I'm gonna let the purple one hit the banner. We're gonna lose in, try again, go back, and then the worst difficulty is three. This is this is actually not the easiest thing in the world to do with a mouse. I'll hit a couple. See I thought I picked the wrong color. Purple. And you see, I'm actually gonna to try to beat the high score on this one. This is a lot easier when you export it to an APK. Okay, well, I missed. But we did increase our high score, so I think it was on, I don't remember what it was on, I think it was on 6, and now it's on 11. So, hopefully that gives you an idea for what it looks like. At first glance, the game is very simple, and even at second glance, it's still very simple. <laughs> it never, at, at no glance does it ever really become complicated, <laughs> but I think it's going to give us a great project to learn a lot of core game development concepts, even if you're a beginner or intermediate or advanced. I think there's something for you to learn, especially since there's a lot of room for improvement, not just by adding things to the game, but improving things that are already there. I'm going to try to put a list of the things that I think you'll learn from this series in the description, and then hopefully as I build out videos in the future, I'll come back and put in you know some timestamps and things so people can find what they're looking for. I am going to put a base project in the description when I have it ready for people to download the the images that I'm using, the, the sprites. I don't want this tutorial to kind of focus around coloring in squares and things for projectiles. I don't think that'll be the best use of anyone's time. We can take a look at at least one just in case no one's ever messed with that. But we'll talk about that in the future. I hope this has been exciting as the beginning of this tutorial series. I hope the future videos are helpful. For now, that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching.